Hello everybody, welcome back to another series. Today, and who knows for how long, we are going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy. I have been waiting so long for this game to come out. It's finally here. We have gotten accepted into Hogwarts. I cannot wait to see what house we uh, take or accept it into. All right, start. Oh shit! I can make my character. Okay, okay. Um, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. All right, let's get into it. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Professor it's a pity Fig. We didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone. Oh, I wanted to choose my wand. Lead to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank oh. you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, wait, well, that's. Is, is that supposed to be the Festerals? Graphics are very good so far. I have to compliment it. Ooh, who's this? Oh, is that the guy that appeared in some gameplay before? I actually do wonder though why our character starting off at year five. I, I actually didn't even fully read the Hogwarts letter because it fully, you know, I was thinking, oh, that maybe it was just gonna be the exact same letter as you know. Harry Potter and his friends got, but maybe it might have said, you know, that uh, why he was accepted late or something, who knows. Because that doesn't really make sense to me on why a wizard or a witch would be accepted so late. Like, year five, you know, this is supposed to be year five of, you know, of being a student, and it's like, you know, there's seven years in total, I think. Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far in the ministry. <laughs> oh. Have you seen this? Uh-huh. Ranrock. Uh -huh. Opinions so differ as to how great a threat oh. Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant uh -oh. threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Hmm. Before I could respond, I 
received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. That's right, our character, I remember hearing it, our character has the ability to open certain magical objects that anybody else can't. We do. Oh shit! Damn! That's a dragon! Festrals, there you are. Oh, that's a nice detail! That's a very nice detail! I'll explain it um, for those who don't know after uh, after the cutscenes. The key. Give me your hand. Oh. Okay. So the Thestrals didn't appear until he seen them. Uh. You know, they appeared when he looked back because he had just seen that guy die to the dragon. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganweld potion. Wiganweld. I'll write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Ah. Cool. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. But I'm yeah, you... But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Is there a map system I can see? Pressing down a deep pad or pressing on the uh Okay. Alright. Uh yeah, let's guess let's move on. Yeah, Thestrals, you can't see Thestrals until you see somebody die in front of you. That's how Harry was able to see them, how Luna was able to see that them. Whoa. From London and the carriage traveled. The Scottish the Highlands. The Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded a it may be. A path. I have to say, I mean, I'm playing this on a PS5 currently, Watch and God, the graphics are amazing. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Okay, so we can jump. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. 
Yeah, I want I want I hope they explain Hogwarts at least how my character is able to do it. And is itself a strong you know, see the magic. That ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, that's the path down below. This way. Back in one second. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. But so why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Ooh. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no Looks like obsidian than a little bit. any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah, you could choose either to be a good wizard or bad wizard apparently in this game. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. That's Someone ice. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see it looks more like obsidian book. You were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh. Cool. Excellent. Um. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold it. Ah. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. All right, next area. Dum 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 dum. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Whoa. Wait. Is that Gringotts? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Um, okay, here we go. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Whoa. Mr. Goblin, sir. Hello. Mine cart rail things. After you. So what do they say in the middle or Okay, yeah, I see the seats now, okay. I wasn't sure. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Ah, 
How many votes are there? Hundreds. Too many. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The votes you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Dude, going on this ride in real life, like, you know, this type of roller coaster ride would. It would make me sick. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Someone ought to tell a goblin to cut their fingernails. Those things are long and black. Ugh. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the oh, I didn't even notice. Porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. Vault number 12. Here we are. Alrighty. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Go inside, I guess. Oh. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Uh... Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. Yeah. Let me think. There must be something here. I'm thinking it's at that wall. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh my god, I actually got traced. Wait, what? I'm a little confused. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Uh -huh. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. 
Oh, I forgot to get the chest over there. Oops. Do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. Whoa. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Rebelli. To what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. I'm liking the, uh, the wand work that they got for casting certain... Sh so, with charms, it's more of like, okay, you do this, and then you never have to use this pattern again, and just you have to press a certain button to cast that. Okay. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Lumos. <gasps> oh, it moves. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess I gotta hold it. Oh, shit. This isn't good. I'm liking the blocking we got here. Lumos. Ooh. Oh, a, a doorway. Cool. Oh, this is leading me somewhere. Lumos. Heck is that? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Ah, pensive. I wonder. Maybe drip it in there and dip your face in there like Dumbledore?
<laughs> Who's this? All is in place. The portal oh, is well hidden. Cool. Perhaps too well. Hmm. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see Percival traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Hmm. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Mm -hmm. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> uh oh. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But oh sir, crap. You shouldn't be in here. Ranrock. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. You think we're going to trust you, buddy? Uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only him. to one with the key, and you didn't have it. No, come on, he's innocent. No. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? Yeah, I liked him. I'm not giving you anything. Hmm, well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh. Oh. Goblins are powerful. Shouldn't be severely messing with them. Uh oh. Oh, please don't tell me I have to fight that thing. Yeah, you better go through the portal. I know way out. Come on, Professor. Let's go. Get your butt out. Okay, they got out. That's good. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Outside Hogwarts? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to oh. both wanted someone with your ability. 
to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I just heard the little tiny tinkle, a little bit, of the ha of the of Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter. Here it is. Yes. Oh my God! It's beautiful. Come on. Oh God. Beautiful. But us. Wow. I have to congratulate them so far. They have actually made a solid game. So far, I have no problem with mechanics. Dialogue, I don't think is cringy at all. I think the design of everything's perfect. Because there's so many, you know, spells, you can't really do them all at the same time. Which is why I think you're going to have the ability to switch and choose, like, sort of a loadout type of deal. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Ooh. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between, between you me. and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <laughs> Guessing that's the headmaster and... Uh... And uh, I guess that was the headmistress beside him. Which was, um, what was her name? Professor something Weasley? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Wait. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Phineas Black was Fig. the I headmaster? The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Beautiful as ever. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Hmm. Welcome. Tables are a bit different. You're just in time. Have a seat. Here we go. Time to choose my house. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Um... I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. True. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Huh. Well, off the bat, I'm going to obviously guess that Daring is going to be Gryffindor. Ambition is probably going to be Slytherin. Curiosity and Loyalty, I'm not sure on what they're going to be. Um, a sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. 
Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Oh. I was right. I knew it. Okay, um... Do I want to be Gryffindor? Yeah. Better be Gryffindor! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Aww. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You <laughs> are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I prefer Dumbledore as a. An entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. So the Weasley used to teach at Hogwarts. I'm Professor Weasley, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Honestly, I wonder why the Weasleys decided to go, it's you know, work for the Ministry instead of, you know, continue to trying to work for the Hogwarts. This quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being assaulted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when <laughs> I was a girl, lady. however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. The fat lady. Oh, the nostalgic feels are coming back. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Oh. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Honestly, I like the, uh, the little hole going into the common room because actually that was in the books. I believe they did state that that was in the books, but they never put it in the movie because it was just like, oh, here's the painting and there's just a door, you know. Instead of being like a little tunnel. Gone. Better head to the common room. Alrighty. Mm. Well, not mechanical ones. Oh my god, bro. Look at this. Honestly, it's. It, I, I don't know if it's just me or not, but. It's quite bigger than the original. The original common room. I think it just changes a little bit with each generation. House, chest, place. Huh. Cressida Bloom. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet Cressida. you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! 
I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast she reminds me of her money than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. <laughs> That girl thinks she can get away with anything. She gets older every, every year. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> She's definitely a daredevil. Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower. From the outside. Without a broom. Goodness. I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Hmm. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. So far I'm liking the people that we've uh, introduced ourselves to. Oh, cool. You'll like it, trust me. Gareth Weasley. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Yeah, and he's oh. dead now. <laughs> yes, a friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again. Very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Ah. Uh. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butter beer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. I can make you why. <sighs> well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. 
New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. What happens if I do this? Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. True. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Yeah. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After oh. much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Hmm. Ooh. Here you are. Up. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Ah. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable. Uh, yeah, results. I will. Definitely. Oh, okay. Just disappear out of nowhere. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Hmm. Cast Revelio on it and... Revelio. Huh. <sighs> ah. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace huh. the supplies you lost on the way here. Ah, huh. okay. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Hmm. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Well, it's about Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to <coughs> defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, mm, okay. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckett <laughs> in charge of our <laughs> students' education in that regard. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. Somewhat. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. 
Um. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. A bit. Speak oh. of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in <laughs> one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Thank and you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Oh, Come and okay. find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Well then. Well, I guess I can maybe take some time to explore a little bit. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Winston talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say... I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. Mm -hmm. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now... As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. It's kind of... Kind of neat. Alright. Uh, it's a kitty cat. I am quite enjoying looking at everything here.
Hmm. I think, uh, I think I've done enough today. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. I think I'll, uh, I'll stop here for today. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.